Normally I would just review the watch straight away but in this video I prefer to unbox it because the last time I did this watch didn't come in this master of G box it came in the original the basics black box which is not as good as far as first impression goes okay if you guys recall I'll read the title this is the GG-B100 in full blacked out colorway just to complete the series I already reviewed the arrangement version so I figure I should make the Modmaster version as well. So it operates on Casio 5594, which has one single function that beats every Master of G models, even the non Master of G models as well, in that matters, which I highlight in this video. Only one reason, just that one reason alone, will differentiate whether this will be a good or a bad G Shock watch. In my case, it is a good one because no Master of G models could do what well, this watch could, but you guys could decide all that after watching this video now let me open it up this time it came in this master of g box and this is how it looks like basically a blacked out version of the basics gg-b100 and if i'm not mistaken this watch is still in production so if you're interested on in getting one um, i'll try to find a link in the description box to amazon or if you were to buy them from japan use buy.jp for that because last time i checked take some this is the g-shock connected app the retail price for this is $49,500 if you buy it at a tax-free shop, it will be around 38280 yen. In the used market over here in Yojiban Auction, it will cost you around 180 bucks, a lot cheaper than that. So I would recommend you to pick one up in used condition instead because the price dropped quite significantly and you were able to save a lot of money this way considering that the condition is still looking good. The reason why the price drops so much is because it is not popular and people are complaining on one single reason only which is in my opinion is unfair but I get why. It is the fact that it didn't have any solar charging feature. Though I have to point out, it has other things that no G-Shock watch have. First, carbon core structures which is tough as metal, tougher than resin for sure. It has four sensors built in, barometer, altimeter, compass thermometer plus tap tracking sensor plus Bluetooth function as well well this is not the first time a mod master is lacking the tough solar functions the GG 1000 does the same way plus it has two sensors but people are okay with that and I'm guessing because of the design so next thing is the design the design is not well not for the taste of everyone but in my opinion it is made for a casual uh, G-Shock watch users only well jam-packed with functions and that's the reason why they even uh, was issued to British Army, if I'm not mistaken, from the last collaboration that they made. There are several color variants already available for this series alone, but in this case, I picked up the all black colorway because I found one again around half the original retail price. So I thought it's a good deal considering the condition. Look at that. Almost like brand new. Pretty cool, right? So it is mostly black, including these four screws to lock the bezel on top and this front light button including the guard as well the four sides button sorry five actually came in silver like the uh, brothers I believe the rangeman blacked out model which also came in similar colorway now let me turn to G-Shock connected and to show to you guys one single function that make this much better than every master of G models up to this day I'm filming this video uh, but before we get to that just a quick demonstration before I change check this out this is at home time, it is currently showing me time in analog and step tracking data in digital. I could swap these two, barometer graph, and just only two. Check this out, only two of them. And if I go to mode function, check this out. We have world time, first will be the world time, and then I have barometer, and then sunrise and sunset, and back to home time. Notice that we are missing plenty of other functions. And that is the good thing about this G-Shock watch actually. So let me pair this watch to my phone real quick by pressing this connect button for about 2 seconds and it will connect to this phone right here. So you could put this watch aside and let's have a look here instead. Let me quickly turn on the screen recording function. So after you pair your mod master, go to the setting on top and go to cancel GGB100 and go down to the watch setting to the third watch setting to be exact there we are 
Okay, here is the good thing that no mod master or no master of GG Shock Watch have. Basically, it allows you to customize the mode and the display that this watch shows you. This is the display, this is the mode. Notice that I only turn on ball time, barometer, and sunrise, thus limited amount of function in here. You could also, there is out, if you don't want world time, you could just turn it off. Or if this is not your priority, you could lift the, um, let's, you know, let's say you use stopwatch all the time, just lift it all the way up to the front mode, so the sequence will be the first. Meaning the first mode will be a stopwatch, next mode will be a world time, or if you don't use any of this mumbo jumbo, just turn it all off since you only use stopwatch. So just turn stopwatch on. So whenever you enter the mode function, it will straight away go to stopwatch. You could start your run, start your activity right away. So you could turn everything off if you don't like any one of those. Or in my case, I usually only use barometer. I use temperature. I don't use uh, recalls. I just turn it off. Sometimes I use timer. So I'm just going to move all of this all the way up. Let's see now, I'll prefer timer first. There's that. Send setting to the watch down here. Okay. This is for the mode. Next thing is the display. Notice that I even turn off the day date function. I only turn the uh, pressure graph. Let's see now. If I turn this off, because we could already access the barometer mode in this mode, right? So I turn on the step tracking sensor. I think I should turn on the hour, minutes, and seconds for timekeeping. And world time. Why not? Send the setting to the watch and OK. Now we only have three things in this sequence. It will even automatically adjust it for yourself. Now, you could set some, a lot of things in here. All of them will be listed in here. You could check it up once you pair the watch to your phone. But I only highlight this one single feature alone. Now, disconnect the watch from your phone. And when we press the mode button, check this out. We'll have timer first, we'll have barometer, thermometer. And back to home time really cool now i could change this to timekeeping world time step tracking data that's it just the essentials just the thing you need and if i'm not mistaken the new grb 200 the gravity master four sensors will also have the same function as this so keep that in mind if you're interested on getting that here is another reason why you should just proceed on getting that watch right away note that it is lacking the solar panel, solar functions, but for everything that this watch has, in my opinion, it, you know what, managed to improvise the lacking of that thing. But hey, you guys get to decide, since you're going to be spending quite a lot in getting one of these, unless you're like me, who only buy them in used conditions, so you shouldn't be bothered with that anyway, right? I already done a disassembly video, including a review video for the original one, the black with red accents, last year, so it's Believe it or not, this watch has been out for about a year. There are so many color variants already available on the market. This is just a blacked out. And if you want to be more, you know, fun with your colors, you can pick up the orange, the olive, the British Army editions, the Burton collaborations, just based on your color preferences. This is how the watch fits on my 15.5 centimeter circumference wrist. I could put it all the way up. And if you have a skinnier wrist, you could still wear it because there's more adjustment there and this is how it looks like really really good i prefer an hour black colorway well i have plenty of mud mess already with me so solar panel aren't a big deal i mean the battery is incredibly cheap to replace so well you could do it on your own so i'm totally okay with this now with that said i want you guys to comment down below if this is a good thing or not